In this video, we'll be writing formulas for ionic compounds that contain polyatomic ions. So sodium, that's a metal, it's in group one, it always has a charge of plus one. Hydroxide is not an element on your periodic table, in fact, it's a polyatomic ion located on the back of your periodic table and it has a charge of minus one. So we need one sodium to balance out one hydroxide. So the formula should just be NaOH, one sodium, one hydroxide. Now lithium ha always has a charge of plus one. Carbonate again is a polyatomic ion on the back of your periodic table and has a charge of minus two. So if carbonate has a charge of minus two, how many lithiums will we need? Well, just use the zigzag method. We'll need two lithiums. So here we have two lithiums and one carbonate. Students oftentimes make the mistake of saying we have three carbonates. Well, we don't have three carbonates because carbonate is CO3 and we only have one CO3. So here we have one carbonate and two lithiums. Ammonium, this is kind of a tough one to find, but ammonium is actually a positive polyatomic ion. It's on the back of your periodic table. Chlorate is ClO3 minus. So we need one ammonium and one chlorate. So when you write the formula, it's NH4 ClO3. So this is one ammonium and one chlorate. Let's try another one. Ammonium, but this time we have phosphate. Phosphate is PO4 minus three. So how many ammoniums will we need? Well, just use the zigzag method. So we're gonna take this three and we're gonna bring it down here behind the four. Some students will write the formula as NH43. Well, that means we have one nitrogen and 43 hydrogens. We don't want that. What we want to indicate is the fact that we have three ammoniums. Ammonium is NH4 and we have three of them. And then of course we have one phosphate. Magnesium has a charge of plus two. Nitrate has a charge of minus one. So how many nitrates will we need? Well, we'll need two of them. So once again, you can just zigzag the charges. So Mg, NO3, 2. You need these parentheses, otherwise it would say NO32, and we don't want it to say that. So this two tells us that we have two nitrates, and nitrate again is NO3. So tin 2 sulfate, what does this two tell us? Well, it does not tell us how many tins we have, Remember, it tells us the charge on tin. And then sulfate is SO4 minus two. So these twos will cancel because remember that an ionic compound, the formula represents a ratio. So two to two is the same thing as one to one. So we have one tin and one sulfate. Vanadium four sulfate. So vanadium has a charge of plus four, sulfate, as a charge of minus two. So we can reduce the four and the two down to a two and a one. And then we'll zigzag the charges. So we have one vanadium and two sulfates.